Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the Finity Designer, in particular, how you can open EPS files. Right, first thing to do, just go over to File and Open, and select. There's quite a range of formats it supports. So, but uh, this one's an EPS Design. So these EPS files are available on the Graphic Extras website. You can letter font section. So the EPS format. So I'm just going to import that. Right, you can also use the file and place. So I'm just going to select file and place. So you can just say select that and open, and that will just be added there. Don't want to do that, but I'm just going to use this one. That's still a vector, so you can just move it around, do various things. And now, what I can do, I can quickly show you, you can use things like the corner tool. Just go there, the corner tool, so you can modify the vector design, and it's really quite easy just to manipulate the, the P shape in numerous ways. So that can be done. Also use the no tool, just go over here and then just manipulate the path. You can quite, quite create some very interesting designs just in a few seconds just by dragging this out. Now it's actually in some ways I find it easier to use than the Illustrator, but I suppose it just depends what, uh, what application you're familiar with, well I'm actually quite familiar with Illustrator, but uh, this in some ways actually makes it very nice to uh, modify the curve and segments. Now, right, once you've actually done that, you can also obviously add effects, which is really quite nice as well. And I'm just going to go add, say, for 3D, or maybe add a slight blur in, so you can just modify it, blur to the, the vector design. And if you wish, you want, you could actually apply like gradients as well, very quick and easy. You can modify the gradient. There's settings over here. You could have it radial, and of course, you can add bitmaps into the equation as well. So you can actually set up a bitmap as well. So I'm not going to do that, but cancel. Right. I hope you found this of interest.